let's go. It is March the 9th, 2018. I wanted to make this video for a few days now, but I've been so busy with both my jobs, life, yada, yada, yada. You don't want to hear about all that nonsense. So let me just get right to this, and I'll try not to go too long. But let's start with Michael Bennett going to the Eagles, all right? I'm a Bucks fan. I did have the thought that, that maybe the Bucks would go after him. I know there were some rumors that they were trying to maybe obtain his services. But I don't think they were really willing to give up too much for him, especially after last year, what they did in free agency, and it just didn't pan out. Such a just absolute disaster. Um, I really think they, they shied away from trying to make anything crazy. So I look at that and I say to myself, all right, you know, they didn't get him. I don't really blame him for doing what they did and not really, you know, trying to give up too much for him. I think he's a good fit for the Eagles. I think he's fine for the Eagles. I think if you're an Eagles fan, that's cool. But for the Bucks, he clearly is, at his age, he's not going to be our savior. He's not going to come in and completely change the whole dynamic of our defense. Although, maybe it would have been nice to see him and Gerald McCoy reunited. But, Gerald McCoy... Is Gerald McCoy even going to be a Buccaneer next year? You know, he put out a tweet saying he ain't going nowhere. Nothing's going to happen, but I don't know. I don't know. His value is not going to go up. I can tell you that much. It's not going to go up. Where it's at right now is as high as it's going to be going forward. It's not going any anywhere higher than this, all right? I mean, until you maybe get, like, you know, in the season, maybe somebody, you know, needed somebody or, you know, injuries, whatever, then possibly okay. But but I'm talking about, like, as far as value based on, you know, who he is, what type of player, it's not going to go up. So, I I honestly, I could see the Bucks trading him. I really could. I could see the Bucks trading Deshaun Jackson, too. I could see a lot of things happening, and mainly because last year was such a horrible season. They had such high expectations. I was running around drinking Kool-Aid all day long that was Bucks flavored. Everywhere I went, man, I was drinking that Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah, this is our year. We're going to do it this year. Ridiculous. Now, I've kind of come to expect that. I've talked about that before. As a Bucks fan, the offseason is kind of my time to dream. But, man, I'm not going to lie, last year stung more than prior seasons I'll put it that way because we really if you were a real Bucks fan like you were really amped up about last season you really thought like all right we, we've got a chance to do some big things so it didn't happen right it is what it is but when it doesn't happen I've noticed a trend with the Glazers they'll spend the money but boy if you don't pan out they're gonna make some moves so I could see them getting rid of Deshaun Jackson and Gerald McCoy to be honest with you Deshaun Jackson not necessarily because there's a problem with Deshaun Jackson, right? Yeah, he didn't put up the numbers, but I've talked about this before. This wasn't Deshaun Jackson's fault necessarily. I'm a huge Winston fan, but Winston was not hitting the deep ball. His accuracy on the deep ball was just, it just wasn't there. I can't really bash him because I love Winston so freaking much, but it wasn't there. And unfortunately, that hurt Deshaun because he wasn't able to get those catches, and he was getting open. So, two-part thing on that. One, Winston's not hitting the deep ball. Two, Chris Godwin. Chris Godwin's a man, dude. I love Chris Godwin. This guy is L-E-G-I-T legit, all right? And I'll try not to just go overboard here talking about Chris Godwin, because it was one year. It was, what, one touchdown catch in his final game of the year? All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to go too crazy on him. But I really like Chris Godwin. I like his work ethic. I like what he brings. I like his energy. I love his route running. I just love everything about him. I, I just, uh, I love me some Chris Godwin. So there's only so many balls, right? There's only so many balls to spread around. Chris Godwin, I think he is the reason why there's a chance Deshaun Jackson gets traded. Not because Deshaun Jackson is a bad player or because he's over the hill or he's done. He could go somewhere else and completely blow up. I mean, if you get a quarterback that can hit him on the deep ball, he'll he'll catch the ball. I mean, he's shown that his entire career. But unless Winston starts doing it, I think you got to look at the possibility of trading Deshaun Jackson and saying, all right, Chris Godwin, I mean, he can get deep. He's not slow, but he's a more pure route runner, and I think he's better – on the short to intermediate throws. And I think that's where Winston is the most successful. So 
I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I could see, I could see Deshaun Jackson, Gerald McCoy. I could see both of them going. And I really, I, I was telling people I work with here that I really feel like if we had gotten Bennett, I'm not saying that would have secured or locked up Gerald McCoy to stay. But I think it would have been kind of hard to bring in Bennett and then get rid of McCoy. Like, that wouldn't have really made any sense. But not getting Bennett, I could see McCoy getting, I could see him getting traded. I really could. And I like McCoy. I'm, I'm not like a McCoy hater like, like some people. But, you know, when I look at football, football is just different than, than other sports in the regards that one guy does not make or break your team. That's why we get, you know, especially Bucks fans, we get all excited. Oh, we got this guy. You know, last year, oh, we got Deshaun Jackson. Like, come on. Our offensive line is an absolute joke. You can't protect the quarterback. You got no running game. It doesn't matter who you have out there. You're not going to be able to get the ball to him. And, again, your quarterback's got to be able to hit the deep ball. So... Anyways, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. But right now, if you're a Bucks fan, you got to be thinking anything is up in the air, right? Any, there is anything could happen. And, I mean, when you have a season like last year, when the expectations were that high, changes are going to be made. You don't change anything. You can't expect anything different to happen, right? So anyways, I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm always going to show the process. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, all right? Talk to you all later. I'm out.